All right, here we are at Cabin kind of Med Spa, located in Sandy Springs, Georgia. And you, ma'am, are? I'm Grace Chung. I'm the managing partner. The managing partner of Cabin kind of Med Spa. And who's the gentleman you have with you today? This is Algie Crumpler. And <laughs> I want to thank Algie. I want to thank you for coming. He flew in just for this event, and I really am honored. Seriously. You know I was going to be here, Grace. No. I met Algie. One time, can I tell the story? Go right Okay. I met Algie one time at a dinner, and it was um, about eight of us, I think. It was. And Algie sat across from me. This, it was a huge table, so we didn't really get ch a chance to talk very much. And, um, and that was it. And then I saw Algie again at a Carolina Notre Dame game, and I was like, Algie, I don't know if you remember me. I'm Grace from Kai, the medical spa in Atlanta. Oh, I didn't say that. I said, hi, I'm Grace from Atlanta. And you were like, oh, yeah. Kind of spot. Exactly. I was, I mean, you must meet people all the time. I try to make relationships with people or try to understand people when I meet them. So um, if they make a favorable impression on me like you did a few years oh. ago when we met, I, I'll try to remember them. And that was years, I mean, it wasn't it was just, it was a few years ago, so, how do you, I mean, I know when we're out, out there, and my, you were you were trying to remember people's names and so forth. It's hard because everyone knows who I am because of playing professional football, and, and I hate not knowing who other people are, so I try to engage and, and, and meet people and, and talk to them and, and just try to understand, knowing I'm never going to remember everyone. Of course. But I, I give my best effort, and if by chance it's an awkward moment and I don't know, I'll ask. Right. Because I know I've, I've, I've done the things that I should do to try to remember. That's very sweet. Thank you. It really is. You know, I mean, what amazes me about you is, I mean, you've got all this fame, obviously, because of your talent, your sports talent. But you're so humble. Well, I, I am humble. And I know um, what I'm doing now is just short lived. I'm, I'm playing professional football, but I, I have a long life beyond that. I, I saw one of the biggest things I saw uh, former president, or well, President George Bush say when he left office is when you're eight years or up, they're up. You know, he has to go on and, and live his life regardless of how people have criticized some of the things he's done or, or some of the great things he's done. He, he has to move on and move forward and, and the next person. Barack Obama has stepped in and done his role, and I know when I leave the game, somebody else is going to step in, but I'm still a father of three. Three? Yeah, I'm still a father of three girls. Oh my gosh, uh, you're surrounded by women. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. You know, I, I didn't envision that as an 18-year-old young pup, prep mm -hmm. athlete, you know, growing up and getting married and having three little girls, but it's right. definitely been a wonderful addition to my life. Well, this is obviously a Carolina event. It's it a is. Carolina Kai um, event for the ACC tournament kickoff and um, what is, I mean, Carolina to me, I, I'm so passionate about my Tar Heels. I, I love them. What, what does Carolina mean to you? Carolina will never leave my heart. You know, for a former Atlanta Falcon, you know, I'm a Tennessee Titan now. Who knows how many other teams I may play for when I retire, but the Carolina Tar Heels for me, will, will never leave the experiences that I had. I met my wife there. I met all my, my buddies there. I go to all their events. We talk to each other on the phone constantly, still write each other like we were when we were 18, 19 years old. And, and uh, I know that the relationships that I built in college, the relationships that we're building uh, here tonight with the Carolina alum that are in and trying to spread this message, uh, it, it helps. I am so proud to be a Tar Heel. I mean, every time, every time I meet somebody and they tell me they went to Carolina, it's almost like that instant bond or something. It is because everybody thinks just Michael Jordan is the only person that goes to North Carolina. Right, and right. We have a lot of <laughs> alumni that have come exactly. out of North Algae. Carolina that have done wonderful and, and great things. And, and if I can be that sounding board and, and let everybody else know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the first one to do. It. Well. I know you're living in Nashville, right? I split time between okay. Nashville and Atlanta, so I, I, I can't get away from Atlanta. I love Atlanta. I love the people here, and uh, my family loves it here, too. Okay. Well, when are you coming in to the Kai? I'm, we're coming. Well, I'm going to bring everybody in. You are? I'm going to make somebody give my little four-year-old a pedicure <laughs> while my wife 
might get some facial when I get a massage. There you go. Well, thank you so much. Awesome. I, I really, really appreciate it.